lithosphere lithosphere first uh, let me show you the diagram here and this is the earth earth is a 3d earth is a 3d and these are different layers major layers if you go up till the center of the earth core start with the solid from the inside and then we have liquid this solid and liquid part is core and above that it is called mantle it is called mantle inner core outer core mantle and mantle has a upper part also so the upper part of the mantle along with the crust where you walk where you live if you combine them that is called as lithosphere lithosphere is crust earth crust per plus the upper mantle what is the distance from zero means from where you're standing if you dig deep 100 kilometer that means you are on the lithosphere 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 because it's a solid portion and it contains all the rocks different kind of soil somewhere black somewhere red depending upon the, the jalwayu and the climate and all the living organisms lives or lives on this lithosphere so when we see lithosphere in terms of two parts that is land masses and water you will find only two things either land masses or water so the land masses we can easily identify we can easily find out and these are continents these are continents mahadweep these are called continents then the water huge huge water bodies these are called ocean basins ocean basins mahasagar mahasagar large land masses means land area which are huge which are very huge these are continents not the small land masses they are coal islands etc the huge huge water body huge water reservoir is called the ocean basins mahasagar and one more important thing is all the water of the world all the water of the globe they are connected you go to any point on the globe all the level of water will always be equal that means i'll give an example there are two tumblers okay one has higher water one has lower level if you combine them if you join them these water will have equality that means they will come in equilibrium that is how since since all the oceans and the water bodies are interconnected uh, mostly the ocean basins so the water level is equal water level is equal we call it as a mean sea level we call it as a mean sea level because everywhere water level is equal talking about oceans and from this mean sea level we can find out the height we can find out the height from this level above it it's mean sea level below it it below mean sea level so there are two places we need to talk when we talked about a mean sea level the highest peak of the world the highest summit of the world is is a mountain and again if you go down if you want to go to the deepest of the water it's below mean sea level so the uppermost is 8848 meter 8 8.9 i'm just giving you a prox 8.9 kilometer mount everest is the highest peak mount everest is the highest peak of the world and what about the deepest one what about the deepest one it's mariana trench there is a challenger deep deep place in mariana trench and that place is the deepest known in pacific ocean mariana trench mariana trench pacific ocean prashant mahasagar it's the deepest 11 km how much 11 km 11022 meters there are other information also when we talked about mount everest edmund henry new zealand tenzing Nor norgay sherpa india was they were the first men to climb the highest mountain peak mountain everest mount everest on 29th may 1953 what about women junko thabei of japan she was the first woman to conquer this summit on 16th may 1975 and we'll talk about bachandri paul also she was the first indian woman to reach that peak on 23rd may 1984 23rd may 1984 bachandri paul 